Welcome back, friends. Well, we're going to make... My name is Donna, by the way, if you're first and new on this channel. Um, we're going to make apple dumplings. So, actually, this is my first time making it. So, we're going to give it a try. All right. So, in our saucepan, we're going to put one and a half cup of sugar and three tablespoons of butter. And melt the butter. I don't know if you, where you live, but where I am, we got about five inches of snow. <laughs> so this is a good time to be making apple dumplings. So I'm going to put the butter on and melt it. And we need a like I said, we need a cup and a half of brown sugar packed. So we'll get that out. Cup and a half. There's a cup. And this is going to make our buttery sauce for our apple dumplings. Nothing like a nice apple something for this cold winter day and we need a cup of water which I usually use bottled water not for any reason but just I like bottled water <laughs> okay so we got a cup of water we're melting our butter It's almost melted. Come along with me. So it's all melted, pretty much. And now we're going to add our brown sugar. And our cup of water. Oh, hear that sizzle. <laughs> get that all just cook it until the butter melts all the way and the sugar is um, dissolved I preheated the oven to 375 yeah, and that's gonna take a little bit it'll melt up and We'll be getting going now. We're going to work on our apples. Excuse me. Okay, so what we're going to do with our apples is make sure that they're standing up pretty straight, and I think they are. These are glad apples, and we're going to peel them. You know, my husband built this island for our kitchen, which I just love. The one thing I do love about it is the garbage is right here. So I can clear off this counter and just toss it right into the trap and to the garbage. It's perfect. And we have our microwave down here. It's just a perfect counter. Island, I should say. Beautiful job. Sorry, we'll get this going. I'm going to check my our sauce here. Sounds like it's bubbling. It's okay. I tend to burn things. The other day, my alarm went off. I didn't know why. I thought it was a car alarm or something. Mm. Turned out to be I was burning my vegetables. I don't do it often. It's just sometimes I get involved in something else and forget what I was doing. That's good. We'll just 
just let that sit till we're ready for it. This takes the most of the time, is, but it really won't take long. There. That's peeled. Now, I don't have an apple core, so I'm just going to use this little guy, which should do the job. There you go. Take the core out. Just a little doodad that you, oops, see that's not laying flat. We want it to lay, to sit straight. There you go. Got her out. I still see some seeds in there. There you go. Yeah, that works just as good as and just as well as a four. Now we had a couple of snowmobiles come out around today. It was a beautiful day for it. The snow is like packed. But it's not thick. <laughs> no means. But it is beautiful out there. Beautiful. Okay, so the apples are done. And we're going to take on each of the apples half of a tea tablespoon and stuff them in the middle of butter. Gooey gooey. And today is my husband's birthday. So I didn't make him a cake. He does like a lot of sweets, but we don't need it. I don't like too much sweets in the house. Okay. Apples are getting there. I'll clean up this mess. pen for I've got one sheet of pastry puff okay and we're just gonna roll it out because we want to be able to use one sheet with four apples so we'll see what happens now what I did was I just took this out of the microwave and I threw it in the microwave, uh, out of the freezer, and I threw it in the microwave for 15 seconds. And then I turned it over for another 15 seconds. And uh, it's thawed. I don't know. I might need my other pastry dough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it with four. If I can pick it up, yeah, 
Get that seam out of there. It's getting a little bit bigger. Alrighty. We'll try it. Now we're gonna what we're gonna do is cut this. Hopefully. Yep, we should be able to get all four in this. So we're gonna cut it in half. Look at my other oops, lost my butter. <laughs> no. And then we'll, oops, <laughs> did it again. All right. And we'll just cut it in half. Yeah, we might be fine. We're not going to have enough to probably decorate it like I wanted it to. But before we go any further with this, I want to add cinnamon and sugar. And you can add. Uh, pecans or walnuts. I do like walnuts in it. My husband doesn't like any walnuts. And you could add raisins. Ooh, that would be awesome. Which I might just do. I might just do. Add a couple raisins. We do love raisins. So, instead of walnut stuffing, we'll stuff raisins in there with the butter. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's beautiful. This is going to be a beautiful, nice winter dessert. Mm. I might do a chicken dinner. Stuff them with some raisins. Oops, I forgot to put a pinch of salt in our. Just a pinch of salt. Oops. Now, this is our sauce to go over the apples. Sprinkle just a tad bit of salt on the apples. It brings the sweetness out. Okay. I forgot the vanilla. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I doing? <sighs> Let's get that back on there. I'll just leave it on low, keep the butter melting. Ready. Not thinking too well. <laughs> I'm just, I, I get we're um, anxious to get the dump, get the dumplings done. That I, uh, oh well, it'll work. It's not like I poured it in there yet. So I got an eight by eight pan, baking dish, and we need our cinnamon and sugar. regular sugar. So we're going to put a tablespoon of sugar in here, or cinnamon in here. Ooh. Do I have sugar and cinnamon right here? I sure do. I forgot I had cinnamon and sugar already mixed up. So we don't need that. But what it is, is you just mix a tablespoon of sugar to a half a cup of sugar and mix it up and I like I forgot I mixed this up we made uh, monkey bread for Christmas with my grandkids and we're just going to sprinkle this all over the apple top and a little bit on the it'll be nice tablespoon 
Can't go wrong with cinnamon and sugar in apples. It's just like a nice apple pie. Okay, we'll take care of that and put that in the cinnamon thing. Yeah, it's a good thing for toast. Just make a batch up and you have butter toast with cinnamon sugar. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> so we take one corner. Let's see. We take the corner, flip it over. Take the other corner, flip it over. Oops. Another corner, flip it over. And another corner, and flip it over. Pinch the others together. And fold them in. And make a nice ball. Just like that. Now, what we can do with this top that's flipped up is take your little knife and make it look like a leaf. Just do a little design in there. Oh, that looks pretty. Well, you could even do that with the sides. We can lift that up. And make that look like a leaf. Just make it as fancy as you want to. Any kind of decorations, it'll butter up nice. Yeah, how's that? I don't know if you can see it. No, no, it's pretty. And we'll just stick it right in our top. So we'll do the next ones. Oops. You can hear it boiling, but forgot all about it. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. And you could open up. That and bring it over, bring it up, pinch it a little, you know, so it'll stick. Make it into a nice ball. Mm -hmm. And then just make it look like leaves. Two. I think what happened that the dough is not sticking to each other is because of the sugar and cinnamon that I put on there, but oh well. It'll cook. It'll taste good. So what I did was you know, I'll just make it into a nice ball there. And we'll make some leaves again. That doesn't take that long. Bring them right together. Oops.
Beautiful. Just beautiful. Just like that. It doesn't take much to make it look like a leaf. Can you see that? Oh, just put some X's in there. Oh, let me do this side. Yeah, watch. Just take a line, make a line go straight down, and then I gotta see where I'm doing, and then just go down on each side and then cut like this and cut like that and you got yourself a leaf. Beautiful. Alrighty, so there's our apple dumplings. Now we're going to take our sauce and pour it over the apples. And this is watery, but it'll thicken up as we bake it. And we're going to bake it for 50 minutes. But 20 minutes into the baking, we're going to um, baste it again with the juice. Okay? I'll see you in 50 minutes. Okay, we have, I'm going to take them out. It's been 20 minutes. Well, we got a minute and 20 seconds. Um, I'm going to take them out when the buzzer goes off and we're going to put some more sauce on top of them. Oh, a lot of snowmobilers. Yeah, the weather has been really nice. It's nice to be able to just stay inside. <laughs> but on my next video, I'd like to show you how to clean a glass stove top and keep it nice and shiny. It's just vinegar and my scraper and a little elbow grease, uh, vinegar, and I do have a mixture of Dawn vinegar baking soda and I will show you in my next video how we clean our glass top to keep it shiny and you know how you get those burn marks on there I don't get them if I do I, I quickly use my mixture of Dawn vinegar and baking soda to clean it you know to wipe it up oops there's our bell Okay, let's take it out. We're going to put some sauce on it. Oh, they look so beautiful. Oh, look at them. Oh, they look so pretty. And this sauce is going to, oh, it does make a mess of your stove <laughs> splashing. But I'm going to take this sauce and go right on top again. I don't have, I'm going to get a uh, turkey based. I don't have one. But that would be perfect to suck up this sauce and so you're not messing up the dough like I'm doing right now. Let's see if we tip it a little. Just to baste it again with the sugar mess. It smells so yummy. Whew. And we're going to put it in for the remainder of 30 minutes. Okay, now see in 30 minutes.
So anyhow, I guess I could show you what this weather is like. We have a beautiful scenery here. Just, just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I know winter is like for everybody is like burr, ex nay, but you know, that's what being up in North is. We have winter and you either go skiing or snowmobiling or stay in the house and have some hot chocolate and apple dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> but it is today's is my husband's birthday. So I'm making apple dumplings. I'm not sure what kind of a good dinner I'm going to make yet. It might be chicken and rice again. Hmm. Chicken and rice. You'll see. We'll get back to another video after these dumplings are done. And I'll make another one for how we're going to make for his birthday dinner. Okay. So I'll be right back in 30 minutes. Okay, <laughs> we got a minute and 16 seconds. So what I want to say is I have really enjoyed baking with you. This is my first time making apple dumplings. And uh, I'm excited to give it a test. I know it's going to take a little bit before we can test them because then... But what we're going to have for dinner is pork chops and noodles with butter and parmesan and butter, beans, and applesauce. I know, maybe not applesauce. I like pork chops and applesauce, but we might have just the apple dumplings. I want that as dessert, but we'll have a little uh, So what I do with the pork chops, I take, because we like the steak porks, we get a big roast, a big um, pork chop, uh, a por uh, pork, oh, what are they called? It's a like the butt or whatever. And my husband cuts it up into chops. Oh, are they so good? Oops, there's the timer. Just a second, let me get them out. I guess that was dumb. <laughs> At least right in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They might have gotten a little too brown. I'm going to stick them on this little tray here. They might have gotten toasted a little bit too much. I don't mind burnt, but he might. But, oh, look at that. Oh, look how pretty they are. Yeah. Really nice. Really, truly nice. Oh, so, that's our dumplings. And the sauce, as it cools down, it will get a little thicker. And oh, just to be caramelized on top of your uh, dumplings. Oh, it's already thick. Oh, beautiful. So I'm just going to let this sit for about a half hour and we'll dig into it. Oh, even with the burnt, this one here and this one here will probably be his and mine will be the burnt ones. <laughs> but oh, it smells, it smells so yummy. Oh, and with those raisins in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Yeah, once you put the, sin, the sauce on that burnt part, it'll soften it up and it won't be so burnt tasting. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So this is my first time doing dump, apple dumplings. And uh, I hope you learned something. I mean, the, the leaves look beautiful. Uh, it's a little, the dough seems to be... It's like soggy, but... I don't know. Excuse my sniffling. It's this kind of weather. I'm, oof. But now, what I want to tell you is my next video that I'm going to do is on cleaning the sink. If anybody has a ceramic sink, 
like we do. It is horrible, horrible to clean, but easy. And I will tell you and show you. This is what our sink looks like when I'm finished doing dishes. The secret is in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed some of this. I'm going to take one out right now. I know it's hot, but uh, I want to see what it looks like in the middle and see how it turned out. <laughs> so let's just, let's just take one out. We'll take one that I know it's going to be mine because it's going to be burnt. So here we go. I'm taking it out. Drip down. Ooh, doesn't that look beautiful? We'll pour a little more sauce on it. Ooh, that looks beautiful. All right, let me get this over the way. And we will take a bite. We'll cut it in half and we will take a bite. There we go. Oh, sniffling is mine. I don't like it. Anyway, let's go. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, here we go. Oh, it is so <laughs> soft. So soft. It fell in. Oh, oh. Look at that. With the raisins. Oh, the raisins are so nice and tender. And the apple. Oh, it just. Oh, that looks so good. So I'm going to let that cool, but there you go. There's your apple dumpling. I know it's a little burnt, but I like burnt. That looks beautiful. We'll see in the next video. I'm cleaning the kitchen sink, a ceramic kitchen sink. The secret is coming up right now. Oh, and the next is in that video is going to be cleaning a glass stove top. So see you in the next video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, subscribe, and hit the bell for another video of mine from Donna. The and Andy and Aunt Raggedy Ann station. God bless you. Thank you for enjoying the time with me. Good night.